Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm Lana. And we're having a five minute break starting from now. And uh, this morning, my seven year old was chatting to me about a dream she had. And it was some long, convoluted dream, It'd be very boring to listen to. Um, but it was fascinating because it was metaphorical. You know, it was, a, it was a metaphor. It was obviously she, you know, everything meant something else and it wasn't a, a true to life dream. And I just found it amazing that even seven year old brains dream in metaphors. You know, they don't just dream about, about um, you know, the family and, yeah. and the cat and stuff. And I just find the whole concept of dreams so fascinating that no matter how young we are, no matter what our level of intelligence, we all dream in metaphors and our minds are so capable of producing these amazing I was things. listening to this podcast the other day, a Richard Father one, and he interviewed this woman and I've forgotten her name but she was quite amazing and she has studied sleep and, and she yeah. spoke about dreams and she yeah. said that basically, you know how, like at the end of the night, at the end of the day, we basically clear our heads of what's happening mm. and we catalogue everything and we put everything into its little files and folders mm. and that's why we dream to make sense of stuff and to put the stuff that we need to remember in a special folder and the stuff that we need to you know, forget into a different yeah. folder. Yeah. And that when we're in proper sleep, we that's part of our mind, that brain that, you know, controls reason and rationality yeah. and whatever switches off which is why you can be one minute in the swimming pool and the next minute yeah in somewhere because you don't your your brain's not saying to know that doesn't make sense but there is but there's recurring dreams and we yep. all i think we all have recurring yep. dreams and for me a recurring one is being at university even though i finished uni many many years ago and i wasn't stressed when i was at uni i really enjoyed uni but now my uni dreams are all about that you're not prepared for exams exactly and, yeah. exactly and, but i think um, that those are sorry no no but, and and then um there are other i think we probably all have the dreams where you're being chased yeah um or dreams where you're flying off a cliff do you have flying off a cliff dreams no no really no, and i do flying off cliff dreams, but I and i can other, feel myself i'm i'm I've lots flying of flying in the air dreams. but then i i know i'm gonna fall i like i know and i always think i know what it's like to fall off a cliff because I can feel it in my in my dreams, but um, but everybody has I think everyone has recurring dreams and everyone has dream and there are very common dreams, and there are people who think that there's universal meaning to dreams. Oh yes, the, like if you dream of your tooth falling out, then you yeah. die, or whatever. But but I think it's more what we yes, and also I think that, that those repeat dreams and those recurring dreams are because we're still trying to deal with issues. I mean, you know, you have ongoing issues or everyone has ongoing Same issues. I have issues. Yeah, you have many issues. <laughs> no, because you're normal. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm not. So no, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, normal. In, I'm abnormal in a normal way. <laughs> anyway. But, the, uh, but I think the point is that you're not dealing with the stuff, so your brain keeps bringing it back yeah. to you. To And then the other thing that this woman said, you should have spoken to her on this five minutes, yeah. not me, was that sometimes... People like genius people or ordinary people have genius ideas in their sleep because mm. they switch off that rational side. And like I think she was saying, there was some golf player whose name I don't remember that perfected his swing while he was sleeping while because he, was sleeping. he thought about something he could do that he would never have done in normal life. Because in normal life, you say to yourself, "No, that won't work. I've tried that." So I think that your dreams are a way of helping you to. Um, to work out stuff processing. in your life and to process I, things. They're not predictive. Up. I don't believe in predictive no. dreams at all. No. But I've woken up and, and had a brilliant idea in my sleep, like brilliant. But I think it just feels brilliant in my sleep when I actually think of it. Like I wake up thinking, I've just come up with the most brilliant idea for a story. So and it's all plotted out. It? Because when I come to writing that, it's it's nonsense. I think it's just something in like the, the sleep I mean, part of the dream is is – Believing in the brilliance but, of this idea, which is yeah. actually not brilliant. But at maybe all. The, the dream is telling you you not not that idea in specific, but you have brilliant ideas, and you are going to write a brilliant book. Yeah, well, that's that would be a nice predictive dream, which you just said you don't <laughs> believe in. So you're, you're just true. talking out of your ass, quite frankly. But I do. I, I, I think that <laughs> it's I think true. That, but but <laughs> what I'm saying is, you recognise the capability within you to write a stellar book. Doesn't mean you're going to do it. Maybe I don't know. May yeah. Okay. So maybe it's my yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying, but I still think I, I think the key for me is how much of our brains we we don't use. And I know that's a truism, but but the fact that we can all 
think up all these amazing things, you know, in our sleep and come up with all these incredible metaphors that you can delve into and work out what they really stand for yep. shows that we're all kind of poetic geniuses in a way. Um, yeah, and on that note, happy Do dreaming. you dream a lot? Um, do you think your dreams have any meaning? Let yeah. us know.